Hi, welcome back to another installment of Computex 2011. We're here at MSI with Kinner and we're looking at a Z68 board that is one of the first to feature PCIe Gen 3. Now, Kinner, that's upcoming functionality. What advantage do consumers have of that today? Uh, the Z68 uh, GD80 mainboard uh, support the latest uh, PCIe Gen 3 spec. Although the, we need uh, the Ivory Bridge CPU to support the full PCIe Gen 3 function, but uh, we test internally with the latest uh, SSD RAID card on this mainboard. We compare it with our uh, Gen 2 mainboard, we still see uh, about 20% performance boost. Okay, so what we're saying is that the PCI controller is built into the Intel processor. So with Sandy Bridge boards, you're limited to Gen 2 speeds. With Ivy Bridge, you get Gen 3 functionality. But what you're saying is even with Gen 2 chips, you're seeing a 20% performance boost with PCIe SSDs. Yeah, we are really surprised to see uh, the performance still boost on the Gen 2 card. Okay, what about graphics? Are you seeing any increase there? Uh, for the graphics card, we didn't see uh, the obvious performance boost. But we expect the, the, for the year 2012, the latest graphics card from NVIDIA and, uh, and ATI will give uh, the better performance on it. Okay, so this is a board that needs Ivy Bridge to be fully realized. When do you expect Ivy Bridge chips to be available? I, Ivy Bridge CPU will be available in uh, about uh, uh, 2012 Q1. Okay, so I'm guessing you already have those in your labs. What kind of performance are you seeing? Uh, <laughs> this one we cannot tell, sorry. <laughs> Are they fast? I think it is fast. Okay, one more thing we want to talk about here is the BIOS. Now this board's got something interesting. We're going to go over here. Now you are one of the first manufacturers, I believe, to offer a UEFI BIOS yes. and a Windows version of it as well. Yes, uh, MSI is the only uh, part, uh, uh, company that released the uh, UEFI BIOS and also the, the interface in the Windows system to allow user to control the BIOS. Because unlike uh, our competitors, they can either provide a UEFI BIOS or the software in the system. MSI is the first company allows you to, to control the BIOS within the UEFI BIOS and the Windows system. Okay, so this is a Windows app and it basically mirrors the UEFI BIOS. If the user was to make changes in this, would they need to re reboot to activate those changes? Uh, for the advanced settings like uh, the multiplier, they have to reboot. But for the minor changes like a voltage, they don't have to. Excellent. Okay. And is this going to be available on all of your UEFI motherboards? Uh, it will be first uh, uh, available on our uh, member, which we just reintroduced the uh, ZCCA GD8 member. Excellent. Okay. Kenneth, thanks very much. Stay tuned for more from Hexus.